Pureda. I don't know about you, but uh, I enjoyed that uh, American election period uh, when the counts were coming in and it was exciting uh, looking at how it was going in the favour of one and then moving to the favour of the other and so on. And then, of course, that great American turnout for the election and uh, Biden, of course, has won uh, more votes than any other uh, presidential ca candidate in history. And I was listening to one of the uh, Democrat senators. He was a black senator being interviewed. I can't remember if it was either by Sky or by the BBC. And he was asked the question, how is it that uh, the Democrats have lost some seats in uh, both houses while their Democrat candidate has won the, so many votes across the United States of America. And this black senator gave two reasons. One, he said, was that uh, their opponents were um, bandishing them as socialists. And of course, in America, uh, they don't like uh, to be branded as socialists. So that cost them some votes. And then the other thing he said was that uh, some of the Democrats in the Black Lives Matter campaign had uh, called for major funding cuts in the police. And he himself, being a black senator, said that he challenged uh, some of these uh, activists and uh, asked them where were their thinking in calling for major cuts funding to the police. And their response to him was that uh, they had been misunderstood. And then they said these words, let us explain, to which the senator replied, if you have to explain it, don't say it. I thought, wow, how true that is. If you have to explain it, don't say it. I'm thrilled this morning that the Jesus I believe in, as he is revealed in Scripture, I don't have to explain him or my belief in who the Bible says Jesus is, because it is absolutely clear. If I've got to explain it, don't say it. But I don't have to explain it, because I believe that Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God, and the Bible is clear. I don't need to explain. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the word was with God. Jesus declared, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He said before Abraham was, I am. I don't need to explain it. The Bible is simple and clear on it. I believe that my Jesus is God co-equal with the Father and the Holy Spirit. I don't need to explain it because the Bible is clear. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Jesus said, he that has seen me has seen the Father. I and the, fa I and the Father are <clears throat> one. I don't need to explain it. He is God, oh very God. The Bible is clear on it. The Jehovah Witnesses need to explain it because I don't know where they get the idea that Jesus isn't God from. So they need to explain, but I don't need to explain. The Bible is clear. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God this morning. Again, the word is clear in the baptism, his baptism at Jordan. The voice of the Father from heaven spoke, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And Jesus himself declared, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I don't need to explain it. The Bible is simple and clear on that uh, truth. The Muslim needs to explain it because he says God has no son. How can he say so when the scripture is absolutely clear? 
I don't need to explain myself when I say that Jesus Christ is the only saviour of the world because the Bible is clear. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. It was the Apostle Peter who declared salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to men whereby they must be saved. I don't need to explain the fact that Jesus is the only saviour. The liberal theologians may have to explain it and so will them. our multi-faith promoters have to explain it but I don't need to explain it because the Bible is absolutely clear. I don't have to explain why I believe this morning that I have direct access to God through Jesus Christ our Lord because there is but one mediator before God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Yes, and my brothers and in the Roman Catholic Church may have to explain it, but I don't need to explain it this morning. If you have to explain it, says the Senator, don't say it. And I don't have to explain my Jesus. He is clearly revealed in Scripture. And so with jokes I say this morning, my heart is fixed, eternal God fixed on thee, and my immortal choice is made Christ for me. He is my prophet, priest, and king who did for me salvation bring. And while I breath, I mean to sing Christ for me. Hallelujah. Have a great day.